Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run the game Heroes of the Storm on the M1 or M2 Apple Silicon Mac. This is going to be a full beginner's tutorial. We're going to show you how to install Battle.net, the launcher, and then get Heroes of the Storm working on Apple Silicon hardware. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So we're going to go to the Battle.net website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And then I'm going to press this button, which is download Battle.net. And this is going to take us to the downloader. We're going to allow downloads from blizzard.com, press allow. And once that's downloaded, we're going to go down and open Finder. Then we're going to go to our downloads folder and then double click on battle.net dash setup. So here it's asking us whether we're sure we want to open it, press open. So here it's asking for the language, we're going to press continue. And now we're going to enter our local administrator password and then press OK. So this is saying it's updating battle.net update agent. Here we're going to type in an administrator password again and press update settings. So now it's asking us where to install. We're going to let it install in its default location. I'm going to uncheck launch battle.net when the computer starts, press continue. Now it's going ahead and downloading and installing battle.net. So here it's saying it's starting battle.net. So now we're going to log in with our username and password. So if you've not used battle.net, you can go ahead and create a free battle.net account. You're going to need this if you want to play any Activision or Blizzard games on your Mac. I already have an account with games, so I'm going to press the login button here. And then I'm going to type in my email address and password. So when you open up for the first time, it's going to scan for games, but I'm going to press close here and then continue. Here it's giving us the tour of the launcher, telling us how to find games and our friends list, etc. So we're going to find on the main menu of the launcher are all of the games that you can download and install. So there's a whole bunch here. And you also have our favorites bar at the top here. If you go to the shop section, you can basically buy and purchase many different games. Just be aware if you're trying to run these on the Mac, only some of these are available for Mac operating system. So just make sure to check before you download and buy anything. For example, we can't run Call of Duty Warzone or games like Call of Duty Vanguard, etc. Those don't have Mac versions, but plenty of others do. So next step is we're going to click on all games and we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the game Heroes of the Storm. So once we find that here, we're going to click on it and then we're going to go ahead and press the install button. So it's going to ask us to install an application and it's going to require 13.9 gigabytes in storage. So make sure you have that available and then press the start install button and then wait for that to complete its download before we move on to the next step. So once Heroes of the Storm has finished downloading, we're going to press the play button here and it's going to ask for permission to access files and documents, press OK. And it's going to ask again, press OK again. So here it's doing another update. Now we've authenticated, we're going to go through this main menu and we're now in the game. I'm going to put this in windowed mode so we can show this running. And this is all basically working great. So here I'm going to load up a training map, press ready. So you can see here that this is an Intel game running through the Rosetta 2 translation layer. However, this is going to run great on Apple Silicon hardware. As you can see, the game is running very smoothly at a very good frame rate. And this is on the base M1 MacBook Air with the 8 gigabytes of RAM and 8 GPU cores. And it's all seemed to be running fine. So I have heard that some people have mentioned that there are some missing graphics from certain types of skill shots, etc. I haven't played this game very much, so I'm not very really sure about that. So just be aware of that when you're trying to play this game online. You might be missing some of the graphics that you might be used to on PC. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.